Okay, salty. Whoever the salty, the saltiest salty of them all out there is. Find out. Alright, so. Usually I'm happy to give it away. I don't mind. Because usually I find myself real happy in this stone pile over here or whatever. But I wanted to set up for amp and all. They gave me a phone call. I want to try to do this real good as I can. So, uh, you know, you do your part. You try to check out what they give you for the names, the meetings. I got some other cookies going. So I figured out a minute I'd do this. This year. Well, later on when we get into me getting on this and talking about that part, because I've set this up. The centaur, a Greek mythological creature. Oh, well, utilized beautiful the advantages presentation, of a human upper body absolutely and an equestrian beautiful. lower body to flourish. They were believed to be wild and untamed. They were a myth. They were mysterious. They were mysterious. Well, they are mysterious no longer. Introducing Amphenol Aerospace's latest reincarnation of the Centaur. This wire. It is just as wild and untamed as its namesake. Yeah. Built for modern Could be dogs. coming out with the new diamond bit. Just ask Jared. Hi, I'm if Jared. They want I'm so me to do that. To introduce our newest <laughs> high-speed, high-density, ruggedized cable assembly. It utilizes the advantages the wire, of our extensive here. legacy of mil-spec connectors and the latest in high-speed yeah, heavy-duty wire right there. Technology. You can connect that just about in anything. It is called the Centaur. Figure out how to rig it up and do something else with it. Rabbit snare. Every time. Perfect for military, aerospace, and other ruggedized high-bandwidth applications. You're going to go on the farm through this wire right into this machine without a problem. Like. Lightweight aluminum D3899 shell. Take it from the half horse's mouth. Yeah, if I'm talking about two sticks and a banana, huh? Legendary. Learn more about the legend of Centaur at Amphenol Well, they win. It's just real simple. And then I figure out where they tell me to do that, and then I fill in the hole. That's what that is. But at any rate, I love it. They'll t they'll teach me a bunch of stuff. They're gonna teach me all kinds of fun stuff about computers and stuff that I'm getting into real big right now for tech design and stuff, but. Uh, hazard identification here, uh, safety inspection is usually where I go and I bring in that centaur type of where well, you got the uh, minotaur here in Tatalist being the circuitry bit game, uh, housing the bunny into the wire into where they are supposed to go based on their blockchain inside of here, gravity. Uh, safety inspection, three finger Joe, gravity. Um, so that becomes observation under the standard. Keep my clicker close by. Uh, the these guys over here. You, know, you take the brakes and do your thing. There's a brake for it. There's a window for it. It's its own wobble neutrino. With cigarette brakes over two hours, what are you doing for it? You check on the observation, checking for heat differentials, air turbulence equation, flow resistance, and then you would house that alien spacecraft how, how it's necessary to do on that planet 42 or 83. It's important. You adjust. If you like Hubble's 45, great. Gather input from the people who are directly involved in the work you're inspecting. In case this is new, you'll see that a lot in old videos. So we'll skip a lot of this because this is that standard model which is in my manual, which I expect to pretty much understand verbatim the bells. Safe quality quantity. He's doing the five method, the five bit blinkies before it's an eight bit game, and somebody tells me it's this palette over here, and the observation of some shiny plank smallest number banging around here like the bobbles. Trying to bang my old lady. Keep me up all night. Man, your name is Ledger. I'll tell you. It's something that can't be repaired immediately, so the documentation will note that it must be followed up on. Oil spills, blades. Like I said, you run five saws at night. You see things. You know you can't adjust some things. Otherwise, it's a maintenance serviceability system. If it's not one of those things, safety fundamentals starts traveling through pens rows. On universe slits, uh, Carl Sagan, Feynman, Fog, Nuke, and Mars. Fire. Go over there and put it out. Confirm the pressure gauge. Okay, so and, I, and just for that, I wanted to keep that in sync because I keep this information tight, tighter than the dragon shit and diamond asshole, man. I'll tell you, you come around me, you got to grind it out a little bit, but it's worth it. 
Well, they haven't paid me to go through finishing school nor given me a gate to jump through, so I can assume that those are fair play until that changes. Um, but like I said, work is work. Money out. You have to make seven trillion of those things before any of those indicator lines start to really do a damn thing. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay your dues. Uh, so in here, we'll get back to some of those things where it gives me an appropriation of that timeline. Um, we can hit a few up in here. Just uh, click program, C, 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 G code, C code, program away. And to uh, cut and block over here, I wanted to cut it out through a special scene. Obviously, this is time dilation on crack. So, you know, loading tables, this seems like a lot of slow tractor force into days and weeks that turn into this. But then you'll get to the... You'll get to get in there, hustle bunks around. That's, that is what that particle in the Fermi lab, electricity, uh, oxid, why well, use gold plating on those things because we tested that and then the oxidization of those components on the thing doesn't mess it up so it's worth the value intrinsically to measure that off, use that system against any other system, special forces, neutrinos in, in a graphical model. It will machine learn every time. If you don't have that thing honed in its back right position, you'll clip those teeth off of there because you didn't have it always in the load in, load out, which is what numbers go inside here and how you're lining that thing up. And there's different models for each of those. These being sills would redshift, infrared, x-ray vision, some stuff about what block this is, not just, I'd look over there before I'd said something to the indicator on those rough end sills given I'm normally pumping treads or pattern full four foot sheets on there. Winter operations, you know, that starts to bob and blinky light omega all over the place. Uh, well, it's a game of chess. Once you figure that out, in the mid phase, early phase, yesterday, 10 days ago, what's in the mid phase. So that became the gambit. You mark that off, and you're more likely to find success with calculations. Sun Tzu, you know, just some simple stuff. Um, we're gonna ramp this up. I don't do this very often. This was kind of one of those special off equations where I'd been setting it up with thermal in and marketing, and given the centaur down there, you can go check out industrial style Johnson Rhodes burning block, and you'll see what we think about on our lunch breaks. You know what will be in there chipping edges because those are little imaginary photons that turn into CNC machines, G code, M code, A alpha, beta, gamma radiation on tachyon radiation around here. Right there, you'll find a dragon living right there. Uh, well, it's hard on the numbers once you have those numbers, and if they choose to use those numbers, hey, well, you don't need to be there. You're just flaming hydrogen sunshine. At the end of the day, doesn't matter if it was under the sensor, those numbers consistently prime, make voltage drops, amp drop inside of here for this. Now, is it the right answer for the right rookie? That tap tap and wave function, gravity waves the room, maybe no. Maybe the order on the paperwork make that the bells banging and all that good stuff. Um, so we can continue that in a lot of different fields because that would be programming for me. The programming itself is the same thing as touching the buttons or operating file cabinets inside here to what wiggly sound of the saws it's making. So you come back over here to, to Facebook and like I said, this will be your first day. You're going to clock in there and this is what they're going to ask you to do in a stone pile. It'll be a big mountain of rock early dark in the morning and this is the circuitry to ones and zeros that says this is a MOSFET switch, capacitor, resistor. The fuzzles over here are giving the circuitry ampage that run through that thing say consistently over days on systems and numbers when you when you approximate those values give you a little blinky light in that area or tell you an LED needs to be there so you can actually reset that hit that in there and say that's the program rotation you know money in the dollar bills for the pocket back here into all the superpositions into all this make make this worth it for you to do that via other things now maybe that's this but we can do other things we can just take your happy ass yeah, go to the wall that's your OP, OT right there, man, coming in on Saturday, half day. Get that cleaned up, get them garden paths out of there so you don't have to deal with it during the week. Hitting the floor, busting it up, sweeping, broming like a damn champ. 
then again, well, we'll get into this theory a little different. This being beep, beep, you know, there is no rules, no foundation, just the dozer, you and the brothers, and you find consistent gravity, whether it's this field or that field. If there's mud down in here and that's the electrical servitry thing and it's totally VCR versus cell phone, making uh, Gilligan's Island, right? You know, coconut going. Uh, so we'll keep this going. I like a few of them in here. We do a really, I do a really good neutrino video inside of here, which is awesome. Uh, what can your country do? For, what can you do for your country? It's a good one. Um, mass gap stuff. I like the lambda calc I do out here. I'm basically, chasing pokeballs stuff. NPMP problem. Very big. Toss out the book. Um, which we can come back down here and check real quick. The NP MPP T. Do that again. NP MPP T test, which is to say, easy problem, not so easy problem. College solutions is being the first of ones. You're gonna throw out the Jaguar right, hand manual because it's gonna be everything right, that you don't. Oh, I can't even touch down the mechanic. Got Come over. Yeah, sending eight footers down the pipe that had jank junk in it and all that. You know that catcher that has to hand roll those on the pallet. He's gonna love to take that thing right off the back of here. Very similar table. Generally, most of this when they give you this zero cut coefficients on the logs. You know you can rewrite the test. It's a hard thing to do. Yeah, I'm loading up because I know it's an air turbulence equation with engineers and computer engineers and code programmers, MIT directors, and information technology essentially given the size and the quantum operator of that site. So if I find it, it's going to be by the laws of the universe and pretty much essentially only under those standards. The only way your butt breaks down the world for old drill sergeant, last man standing. They're, they are on the front. They expect us to come. Here is the proof. No. Like I said, it goes to the community, town law. You got to get them in there because regardless if they're the dumb ones or not, it doesn't matter. It's your bedroom. It's going to come up later, the wobbles. Got you on the next one.